Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to list land for sale by owner. So you may own a piece of land, you might have owned it for 20 years, or you might have just inherited it. I wanna give you the best techniques on why you should list it for sale by owner. I got several amazing tips and tricks I want to talk to you about. You know, can you legally sell your land for sale by owner? Two, you know, using a realtor compared to actually all the places I'm going to show you that you can actually list your land. And then finally, I'm going to talk to you about how you can double, double what you're going to make for that land that you're selling by owner. All right, I get asked all the time, is it legal for me to sell my land by owner? Do I need a real estate license? Do I need this? Do I need that? No, absolutely not. It is totally legal for you to sell something you own. Now, if you're selling something for somebody else, like let's just say, for instance, you're trying to help your neighbor sell their land and you're getting payment for it, or even you're doing it for free, you're probably crossing a line where you actually need a real estate license. So it is not illegal whatsoever to sell a piece of land that you own. That's it. You know, it's that simple. And then second, when you're using a realtor to sell your land, most of the time they are just sticking a sign out front and then just throwing it on the MLS. This is by no means me bashing realtors, but I'm going to show you how to save tons of money, like 6% and keep that in your pocket. 6% on $100,000 is $6,000. Would you, if someone told you if I was going to give you an extra $6,000, would you be willing to go out and put out 33 signs advertising your land? Would you be willing to go out and take some nice photos or even hire the guy with the drone and pay him like $150 to do it, I'm sure you would do that. You know, let's just say it takes you like three hours to put out 33 signs and it costs you $150 to get drone photos and video and pictures. That's totally worth it. I would trade $150 all day long for a $6,000 commission. And who is going to want to sell your land that you own that you've had for the last 20 years that's been kind of a, a monkey on your back more than you? Would it be that realtor that's going to make 6% and you might just be one of their 30 listings? Or would it be you that wants to get rid of this burden, this, this issue, and sell your land by owner? So think about that. Think about that when you're looking to sell your land by owner. I talked about pictures. You want some great quality pictures. You want some good quality photos. And go the extra mile and get the drone photos. I mean, gosh, you could buy a drone now for like $70 on Amazon and they're super easy to fly. All right, we talked about the photos. So next, you know, you gotta get your signs out. I mentioned 33 signs. I love the corrugated plastic signs. You could buy a sheet of this stuff. It could be white, it could be yellow, it could be red. You just have to use a marker that will stand out and pop on it. And I, the marker, let's talk about the marker. I love the black Magnum Sharpie permanent marker. It's like that thick, it's like super thick. And when you write on it, people see it. And these places you put your signs, you want it to be at a stop sign. You want it to be at a red light. I like to use the tree analogy. Like your land is up here uh, where the leaves are at and the branches are how to get to the land. And the trunk, the trunk is where everyone has to go past to see that land, the major intersection. So you wanna put it at that intersection where you're getting all these people going to these areas seeing your signs. And you wanna put it where they have to stop you know, at a stop sign or a red light. That way they can take a picture with their phone or write it down the old school way. You don't want to put it where they're going 25 or 35 miles an hour. One, that's dangerous. And two, you want to make sure they see your sign. So I'm really, really big on selling land with signs, obviously. Next, you want to put it in places that you'll get calls. So I like to put it on Craigslist and Facebook, Facebook buy sell group. Facebook Marketplace, and then finally, you've got to be willing to answer your phone when people actually call about the land and explain their questions and answer their questions because you're going to probably talk to 100 people to sell this one piece of land because most people are going to have a bunch of questions like, where is it at? You know, is it accessible? How much land is it? Is it buildable? Is there water on it? Is there electricity on it? So you've got to be ready to answer these questions and be ready to talk to many people, but I promise you, it'll be way worth your time selling this land by owner and getting it off your plate. I've got several amazing strategies, but I want to tell you my most favorite right now, and that's Craigslist. A lot of people don't like, they either love Craigslist or hate Craigslist. For instance, I'm not looking for a babysitter to watch my children on Craigslist. I'm trying to sell this piece of land that's a burden on my back, the monkey on my shoulders, and I want you to trust this process. I want you to go to Craigslist, go to the area that you're in. Let's just say, for instance, this land is in Colorado Springs, Colorado. So go to Colorado and then select 
Colorado Springs. And I want you to put your beautiful photos on there. I want you to do a description talking about the land, talking about how much land it is, where it's located, you know, why someone should buy this land. At the end of the day, we are trying to talk someone into buying this land. And Craigslist, people are going and searching Craigslist for land all the time. All right, let's talk about another strategy. I'm telling you, I'm giving you free strategies to list your land. Things are gonna save you money, keep money in your pocket. So Facebook buy sell groups. There are so many groups out there where you can list your land for sale. One, it's like there's tons of land groups. Two, there's tons of buy sell trade groups or yard sell groups. You know, think about this. The land, even though it's in, say for instance, Colorado Springs, Colorado, like the example I just gave, it doesn't matter. You could be listing in a buy sell group in Florida or Arizona or Texas. So one ninja trick, one pro tip you can do is you can look at your county assessor's website and you can see who owns the vacant raw land around yours. And let's just say that you're getting a lot of people from Chicago, Illinois. Well, jump in some buy sell groups in Chicago, Illinois, the land groups, the buy sell trade groups, the yard sell groups, and post your photos and your information in those groups because there's something attracting people from Chicago, Illinois to move to Colorado Springs, Colorado. We're not recreating this. We're not trying to figure out what people are looking for. We wanna go to the people that are actually looking for what you have. I just wanna caution you and I want you to be aware of this and just, you know, I don't want you caught off guard with this. There is a thing called Facebook trolls. These are people that sit on Facebook and just comment negatively on everything you're ever gonna post in your life. I want you to understand this is gonna happen and know this is gonna happen and expect this. These people will never buy your land. Don't even comment to them. Or you can just do the hug one, the hug emoji, or just say, I love you to these people because they probably need someone to talk to and vent to because they're unhappy. So if you can give a little like a brightness in their life, then do it. But I guarantee you 100% that they will never buy your land. Don't take any time. Don't get stressed when they say, you know, why would you be posting in Chicago, Illinois about Colorado land? You know, just expect the negativity and just get over it and just know it's going to happen. There's some very unhappy people in life and maybe you can shine a little light on them by just saying, I love you. Next, Facebook Marketplace. Another place where you can sell your land by owner quickly. And this is a free place to go. Like you're not paying any money for this and there are people searching this. Here's the thing about Facebook Marketplace. They're always changing things. You have to be in your local area. You want to make sure you're putting the local zip code, the local address if at all possible and talking about this. I found that like sometimes Facebook will take away the land option. Sometimes they'll bring it back. It's so weird. Facebook is always making changes. You just have to adapt and you know, just flex with them. There is a lot of traffic on Facebook and Craigslist. These two places, there's tons of traffic and you're gonna get tons of eyeballs and tons of calls and tons of messages. Really, a lot of these messages, people were saying, is this available? How much? Just expect that too. Hopefully, you'll talk to so many people, you'll sell it in the first day and be done with it. All right, so I've mentioned signs several times on this video. As you can tell, I love signs. I love, love signs. The reason why I put it for last, I love it very much, but it does cost a little money. You know, you gotta buy the sign post, the corrugated plastic. You can get a whole sheet from a sign company. And I just briefly mentioned this corrugated plastic, but you can get a whole sheet from a sign company, usually for $20 cash. You can also buy the individual ones, the white and the yellow ones from like Home Depot or Lowe's. But you wanna be careful with these signs. You wanna put them in spots where people stop. You know, you don't wanna, you know, danger society. Like these things can blow and hit cars. So just be very cautious with these. And I love like what the land is, must sell, three acres, phone number. Or three acres, will finance, phone number. Whatever your strategy is, you will get calls but these are a little bit more time consuming. They do cost a little bit more money, but it's a great, great option. All right, before I get to how you're actually, you can double, double your money on this piece of land that you're selling, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, share this video if you know someone that might be interested in it or might need this. All right, now that you hit that the subscribe button and you share this video, I'm gonna tell you how to double your money and also be able to sell this land even faster. But before I do that, I wanna to talk to you about the concept behind this. So banks, yes, you heard me correctly, banks. Banks are the biggest 
buildings in every city and every state and they're very, very profitable. I'm going to tell you one of their major profitable streams of income. So banks know that people move every five to seven years on average and it's actually even more than that now that we're in like 2021. People are moving like it seems like every three to five years now. But the banks have it set up on a 30-year mortgage where for the first five to seven years is completely interest only on a 30-year mortgage. This is why I'm always telling people do not ever refinance your home. I don't care what they lower interest rates to because you start that clock over. What is a mortgage? Mort means death. Gauge means term. You're signing up for a death term every time you take out a mortgage. And a mortgage is slowly killed by an amortization schedule. So for that first five years, you're pretty much paying interest only on a mortgage. And you might be thinking, why in the world are we talking about mortgages here? I'm going to tell you how you can be the bank with your piece of land that you have for sale that you're listing for sale by owner. If you offer someone a 30-year mortgage on that piece of land, you're going to potentially double what you would make on this piece of land. So let's just use a quick example. You have a $200,000 mortgage at 6% interest. If you took 30 years, if you never missed a payment and you paid every single payment on time and never refinanced, once again, don't refinance, you never refinance, you would pay over $420,000 for that $200,000 mortgage. 420,000. Does that sound like 6% to you? No, it's called compounding interest. Albert Einstein said that compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. You know, you're paying $420,000 for something you signed up was only 200,000. So take that to your land sale. Let's just say you're selling a piece of land for 200,000 and you give someone a 6% interest rate and you give them 30 years to pay it. You're going to end up collecting over $420,000 for this $200,000 piece of land. That's how you can more than double the purchase price, the sales price actually, someone else's purchase price, the sales price of your land. You might be thinking, Brent, I don't have 30 years. That's okay. Remember I talked to you about for the first five to seven years is interest only? Maybe they're going to build a house on this piece of land one day. The bank is not going to allow a junior mortgage to be on this piece of land or this house. You're called a junior lien. So they're going to pay you off when they go and refinance for their construction loan. Hopefully they did it for five to seven years and you just collected all that interest. You might not double your money, but you'll make a pretty good sweet bonus. And let me talk about the point number two I'm trying to make here is you will sell this land even faster faster if you're offering someone a down payment and a monthly payment because most people aren't walking around with $200,000. Most people aren't walking around with $50,000 or whatever you're asking for the land. So you're actually widening, you're building your bigger pool of buyers because Americans, we think on how much is it going to cost me each month, not what's the total purchase price. So number one, you can probably sell it for more. Number two, you can sell it for way faster. And then if you are able to do it for the whole 30 years, you can sell it for more than double that price. And let's just say that you only want to hold this mortgage for the next 10 years. Well, you can always sell this note to someone later on and cash out. The note is basically the promise that they're going to pay you. And you can use a title company to set all of this up. So think in your mind, don't worry about the how, you know, you worry about the who. It's a great book. Who, not how. The title company is the who. They will set all this up for you when you sell this property. All right, so let me sum it all up a little bit. I talked about the bank, you know, why you want to be the bank. You know, you're offering the seller financing. You're not only the land, but you're offering the ability for someone to be able to pay for it. You're being the bank. You become the bank. So in other words, that's seller financing. You're not only listing your land for sale by owner, but you're allowing people to be able to buy it from you easily and you actually collect way more money doing that. So my name is Brent Bowers. I've done over 259 land deals and I have over 100 of these paying me every single month. So if you're interested in a strategy like this and building another stream of income, you know, earning an extra three, four, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 a month, head on over to landsharks.com. The link is below in the description. Go ahead and click it, schedule a call with me and my team, and we'll show you how to do it.